Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're doing something that's really different for me. Today I'm going to be testing out being a DoorDash driver for one week and let you guys know if it's worth it. So, you know, ever since the rise of, um, you know, coronavirus and everything, people, a lot of people started doing DoorDash. And I thought that, you know, if I was still curious about being a DoorDash driver for this long, um, I thought I would do it for a week and test it for you guys and just be completely honest and give you guys everything that I experienced in my first week of doing it and just kind of like give you the rundown. So, I already signed up, I'm already signed up, I have the, uh, the app and everything, and um, so basically, the way that it works is you'll open up the app and there'll be like a thing that says like dash now, and you can select what time you want to dash until, so I just like do like whatever, and you'll hit start dashing, and... So, okay, so something just popped up, an order just popped up. Um, nectar juice bar, 7.4 miles total, 9.50. Should we do it? Okay, let's, let's do it. So, okay, I'm scared, but okay, so I just accepted a, my first DoorDash order. It says it's seven miles and the tip is 9.50 for the order, um, which sounds good to me. So, okay, I'm gonna start heading to the restaurant. So I'm driving to the place right now. I don't know why I put in directions because I don't know why I put in directions because I already know where this place is. But um, I think the reason it took me so long to even try DoorDash is just because I didn't really want to put miles on my car. Um, but I guess like you do, you know, you can preview it before you can see how many miles and like the guaranteed pay that you'll get. And I was reading a bunch of different like stuff on Reddit and they were basically saying that, um, try to accept orders that give you like a dollar in like per mile, per one mile, you get $1 in tip. And this one was like seven miles total. Um, and like 950 tips. So like, what the heck? Why not? Yeah. So. Um, I guess I'm kind of just talking to you guys while we're driving there because I think this that's the type of video that this is gonna be but um, This definitely is not something that I would ever think about doing full-time. I think that although there are days where um, You know I have time in between work like today I opened at work and I will close tonight But I have this time in between where I don't really know what to do and I don't like you know I'm a little bored so why not go pick up orders for people, right? Okay, so I just got to the restaurant. I'm about to go in. It says pick up by 3.40, it's 3.35. At first I thought that meant like DoorDash is trying to time me good to be like, oh, be there by 3.40. But I think it means that the DoorDash or restaurant, like the restaurant is saying it'll be ready by 3.40. So I'm gonna go in now and see if it's ready. Okay. So I got it, here it is. I went to Nectar by the way. So we're gonna hit confirm pickup. Confirm it was picked up. Who, this, see. Starting route to uh, four miles from me. Proceed to then turn right. Girl, be quiet. I'm going to go drop off the order. Gosh, I'm like going the opposite way of like where I live. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to rush to work. Okay, good to know. Oh my gosh, so I just completed my first DoorDash order. Um, hold on, my car is like. So, I mean, let's talk about it. First DoorDash order. Um, I really liked it. It was my first order, so obviously, you know, it's not rare that, or it's not shocking that I didn't run into any problems, but my first impressions of it, things that I liked, um, I like that 
it's again like it's on my own terms you know I don't have to you have to like click like okay I'm gonna start dashing now and then it's good to accept any orders that you get once you do that but you don't have to have that on you can turn that on or off whenever you want so I think it's really nice to you know for example I didn't really have anything to do today um, I didn't have anyone to be around and I didn't mind driving around so I guess I really liked it um, I got to deliver to like a super nice neighborhood which I mean hello love that what's not to love about that so I made 950 off that order I did like 7.3 miles um, so yeah uh, first impressions it was great um, the only thing that stressed me out a little bit was like getting to the person's neighborhood and like making sure I'm dropping it off like at the right place. But houses are easy, apartments are what kind of scare me. Hey guys, so it's my second day of doing DoorDash. I'm about to turn it on and like start dashing. Um, I'm just trying to get closer to like the general area that I want to stay in. Um, because I noticed that it kind of has a tendency to like, you know put you in the opposite direction of where you're trying to stay in so I'm going towards this like hot spot that I see and it says that it's busy right now on the map so hopefully it's busy enough that I get in order so I'm going to turn it on now and hope that we get an order I got an order eee! um Wait, how many miles do I have to go total? Three items. Eek. I need to make space for it. What if I spill, um, it's a, I'm going to Pete's coffee, but what if I like spilled their shit all in my car? Add order to route, $10. $10. Oh, it's like in the same area. I'm scared. I've never done two orders at once. Should I do it? It's like literally like in the same area. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I have Pete's coffee that I have to pick up in like six minutes. And then door, uh, a sandwich place. Ah, they ordered so much, it's stressful. Ready around 12.39, okay. This is scary, I have two orders. Oh my God, the hotspot's legit, wow. Mm. Lit. <laughs> I'm so excited, this is exciting. And from what it looked like when I looked at the map, um, they're pretty much pick up around the same, the same time, like a couple minutes within each other, but they literally look Cause it said like, oh, add this order to your route. And I looked and it's like literally going to like the same exact street. I literally have no idea why I kept saying that because <laughs> it was literally seven miles away. Seven miles away. <laughs> Area. So I'm excited. I'm gonna walk into Pete's Coffee in like a minute. I got the orders. So we gotta take it to the customer. So I'm about to arrive at the first customer's house. I have both orders as I showed you. It's like a little bit stressful with two orders because I don't want either of them to feel like I'm waking, making them like wait. But ee, I'm so excited. Um, I may do another one after this depending on like where it is and how much. But yeah, I got really scared because once I got back into my car and said I like I, I picked up the order, then it showed me like the guy's like special instructions and I was like, ah! So I had to go back to Pete's coffee and be like, oh, can you give me this? But it's pretty fun. I like it. <laughs> Guys, I thought that the second order I picked up was in the same area because it looked like it was, but they fooled me. It's like six miles away. Ah! This is not okay. I'm so, I'm triggered. This sucks. Okay, so let's talk about that. Um, it was my first time having to go to like an apartment type complex where like it's just not Ah! I'm not exiting, I'm not exiting, I'm not exiting, I'm not exiting. Where, ooh, where it was like, oh wait I am exiting. Oh my god. I am on meth. Um, but it, okay. It was like 
was my first time doing like an apartment complex and I was like, I literally was like, um, looking around I was like where do I leave it where do I leave it where is this and then the girl came out on the balcony and she's like hi and I was like ah this is embarrassing and she's like you have to go around and I figured it out and I was like whoo thank god and then another thing I need to get better at is like really paying attention to the map preview that they give me of where they're gonna send me because like they sent me like 15 minutes out of like the area that I wanted to be in so now I'm like driving all the way back 15 minutes Which is just like annoying So that's like my fault. I need to get a little better at it And then I think that's all I'm gonna do for today probably I might turn on my DoorDash and like see if there's one really close to where I am, but yeah I made like $17 so I'm kind of rich now Okay, let's go. Okay. All right, you guys, so I am finally going to be filming the ending, my final thoughts on being a DoorDash driver uh, for a week. So I thought it would be easiest to kind of format this in telling you guys my likes and my dislikes when it comes to DoorDash. So we'll start with the likes. It's nice that you can make your own schedule, right? So this could either technically be your main thing that you do all the time, or it can be something you do when you literally just have time and whenever you feel like. And it's nice to know that if you ever want a little extra money, you can like you can always do it. Like you can always just turn on the app and start dashing. I also like that it's like a very minimal contact with customers it's not very much so customer service based like I'm a server my whole job is customer service but realistically like you go to a restaurant ask them for the person's food you get the food and you don't make any contact with the person like maybe you know you'll deal with Karen's over text message you know why is my order taking so long I haven't dealt I didn't deal with that in the week that I did it but obviously that exists I didn't do it for nearly long enough to get those customers and also something that I thought was interesting was that first of all they you can cash out weekly you don't have to wait like you can do it uh, they'll put the money in your account every single like Monday I think and so this is kind of hard, but like I guess like DoorDash, so DoorDash, like the way you get paid through DoorDash is tips, and then DoorDash has like a base pay. And basically, sometimes at the end of the week, the amount of miles that you drove for orders, I could be very wrong because I didn't, I didn't look that into it, but if you drove like more miles and like DoorDash didn't compens compensate you then for it, They'll make sure that you're making like the minimum amount that you should be for the miles that you drove. So like I only did a couple orders and I got like $21 by the end of the week. But once like it came time for them to like give me the money and put it in my account, they gave me an extra like $8 because like base pay, something like that. They explained it on their app if you're at all interested in that but I thought that was interesting and then for dislikes I don't like waiting for an order um, you know you turn on the app and it's like oh you know we're so busy and then you turn it on and it's like you are not getting an order and I, I think it's pretty funny honestly um, a tip I have for that though is just look at the map and it'll tell you where hot spots are near you and go and wait in those parking lots and you'll freaking get orders like so fast if that's an issue that you start to experience um, also gas money miles on your car that's like a really big thing um, if you're driving a Prius hey to each their own or you get really good gas mileage on your car yay but you do have to think about it you know you're gonna be putting a lot of miles on your car depending how often you're doing this and is that important also gas gas is so expensive where I live right now like so expensive um, so that's kind of another reason why I didn't drive for the full week because gas was so expensive I was like I can't do this and then also filing taxes um, I'm 21 I don't freaking understand filing taxes my mom does it for me 
and I I can't say anything about like filing taxes because I didn't haven't done it for DoorDash but it is something that you have to think of you know if you're gonna make all this money um, you know like any self-employed type job you're gonna have to file taxes at the end of the year and you're gonna have to think okay with the miles I put on my car and how much I made was it worth it because now I'm paying this much in taxes was the money that you're left over with worth the taxes is how I think but I know a lot of people this is like their full-time job so I'm not trying to like say that like you can't make a full-time income because I know there's a lot of people who do that and then also uh, lastly a tip that I would have in regards to taxes that I kind of learned was that there are apps that you can download to keep track of miles that you do when driving on DoorDash and keep track of how much money you make so that when you're filing taxes at the end of the year it's like easier because you can write off like your miles but yeah so my final thoughts basically would I do it again yeah of course I will definitely every once and then do it because if I'm absolutely dead bored and I feel like driving because I drive around with my friends all the time right then why not do it but it's not going to be a priority, and I kind of told myself that in the beginning, too. I was like, this is never going to be a priority for me. I'm not trying to replace my serving job, because that would be, like, a lot that I would have to make to replace that job. But, yeah, those are my final thoughts. I think you guys should try it. I don't think you're going to lose anything by literally just doing one order. You know, if you've been interested in it, just try it. So that's all I have to say after my week of doing DoorDash. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.